Hello guys, NASCAR fan YT here, and today we're doing episode 3 of the Diecast Unboxing series. This time, we have all the way 4, as you can see, wave, some of wave 5, as you see there, and uh, only one wave 6, I believe, so, I'm not too sure though. But um, yeah, we're going to unbox 12 Diecast today instead of um, 10 as usual. So, um, yeah, uh, let's get into the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, the first diecast we are going to be reviewing is Kevin Harvick's number four Ream.com scheme from 2022. As you can see, here's the scheme, the sticker, um, and then here's the back. You can see there, the back. Um, uh, all all these cards, as you saw last video, we re reviewed the uh, juniors number eighty-eight team, and uh, yeah, let's now unbox it, shall we? There we go. Alright, here we go. Here is Kevin Harvitz. For Ream scheme from 2022. I believe he won one of these schemes. I think I'm not too sure though. <laughs> so here it is. Here's the four Ream, Ream.com, Hunt Brothers is all the sponsors. Hunt Brothers Pizza, Sunny D, Gear Ranch, Forever. And here's the back, Ream.com. All that. The sign and here's the bottom top ream uh, and then here's a sticker obviously um for ream forever Kevin Harvick and Stuart House Racing nothing in the back I don't think so nope all right but here is Kevin Harvick's number four reams Ford Chevrolet or Ford Mustang I am so sorry I apologize just woke up Ford Mustang there we go and yeah, let's get into the next diecast. Alrighty, the next diecast we are going to be reviewing is Kyle Busch, number eight. Um, Lin, Linval, I believe, <laughs> Linval, I don't know, Chevrolet from 2022. Let's see the sticker, Linval, Limbo, Limbo, I don't know. And then, yeah, uh, let's open it up. Sorry for the wait. There we go. Here is Kyle Bush's number eight. Limbo Chevrolet from 2022. So as you can see, we could be the scheme. Here's the sponsor on the front. And then on the side, it's the 8. And then here's all the sponsors. Cheddar's on the rear, rear, rear. Uh -huh. And the back side, Camaro. Yeah, so this is a pretty good scheme in my opinion. It looks pretty cool. Some people might have other opinions, but... Honestly, for me, I feel like this is a pretty cool scheme. Sorry about that. Um, but here's the name, Rowdy. Let's be. And here's the sticker, obviously. Rowdy, everything on it. And, um, yeah, pretty cool scheme, in my opinion. Um, Kyle Bush, number eight, Chevrolet. So, um, yeah, let's go review the next die cast. The next diecast we are going to be reviewing is Josh Berry's number 8 Tire Pros. Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. Tire Pros, Junior Motorsports, Chevrolet. And now let's, let's open it up, shall we? Whoops, sorry. It's Xfinity card this time. I believe we have one more to review, and yes, we do. And we got a truck scheme to review, so. 
co happy to review it to you guys. And here it is, Josh Berry's number eight, Tire Pros Chevrolet Camaro for Junior Rosport. Excuse the front, Tire Pros love to drive. Here's the side, Tire Pros eight, Jared, and Junior Motorsports on the right here, tirepros.com, and Bass Pro Shops, you can see there, the American flag, and Exalta, and here's the other side, it's just basically the same thing, and here's the Tire Pros, honestly it's a pretty good scheme, pretty cool scheme to review, um, yeah it looks pretty cool in my opinion, I really like how the design is, pretty much like all the designs at this point. <laughs> But uh, here's a sticker, obviously, Tire Pros, Josh Berry's sticker. And there we go. Here is Josh Berry's number 8, Tire Pros Chevrolet. And, um, yeah, let's go review the next scheme. The next die cast we are going to be reviewing is Alex Bowman, number, 80, number 48, Ally Chevrolet. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I think it's blurry or something. Hold on. You know, I'll just open up to see if it gets better. Here it is. And here's Ally. Yeah, let's just open it up to see if it's better. I apologize for the for the um for the blurriness. If it is blurry, I apologize. Here's a sticker and then there's the car. The car. -y. All right, here we go. Here's Alex Bones, number 88. Oh, it is blurry. What the hell? Why is it blurry? Sorry about that. Uh, so now here's the real scheme. Look at that. Much better. Alex Bones, number 88. At least this is Chicago's. No, no, no. I know he won one of the contests, I believe. So, I believe. Oh, never mind. 2023. So, all these are 2023? Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. I am so sorry. I believe this is, like, a winning contest. I don't know what scheme, though. I'm not really too sure, to be honest. But here it is. Ally. Got the, the, the yellow, the bright colors on the scheme. 48. Ally. Do it right. Hendercars.com. Here's the top, obviously, Ally do it right, Ally do it right. And here's the bumper, Vaveline. The size is basically the same, so. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty pretty decent scheme, in my opinion. Don't really like it that much, but it's pretty decent. Not a, not a worse scheme. Here's a sticker, Alex Bowman, 48. And, uh, yeah, um, off to the next diecast to review. The next diecast we are going to be reviewing is Brandon Jones, number nine, Menards, J. Jalen Weln, Scheme, Camaro, for Junior Row Sports, from 2023. Uh, as you can see, here's a sticker, Menards, nine car. All right, let's open it up then, shall we? So we got the sticker. There we go. And, looks, and here it is. Brandon Jones, number nine, Menards. Chevrolet Camaro from 2023, I believe. So it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't say, but I believe it's one, yeah, it's from 2023 because it wasn't with, it was with uh, Junior Row Sports in 2022. So here it is, his full scheme, his sticker, obviously. Not his, oh, never, never mind. There's the name B. Jones, Menards. And yeah, here's the front. Jay Weldon. And Menards, obviously. Here it is. All the sponsors down here, as you can see. And then, here's the back. Menards, Jill Weldon. Um, Menards, and, um, yeah. Um, it's a pretty good scheme to review, and um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool scheme. And let's get into the next diecast. The next diecast we are gonna be reviewing is Chase Elliott fan favorite Chase Elliott's number nine Hooters neon scheme from 
believe 2023 from this year. Sorry about that, but um, here's his here's Chase Elliott's number nine Hooters, Chevrolet Camaro. Um, number nine Hooters. So now let's open it up, then, shall we? There we go. So here it is. Chase Elliott's number nine Hooters Chevrolet. As you can see here, here's the front. It's 40th anniversary of Hooters. Night Owl. That's pretty cool. So here's the side. Number nine Hooters. Coca-Cola, Unifirst, Lumar, Napa. And then here's the front. Follow me. Follow me to Hooters. And there's Vaseline. There's the side. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. It's probably a good scheme for Chase Elliott. And then here's the bumper. Hooters, Napa, all the parts. And then yeah, here's this here's this thing. His sticker. Hooters, Chase Elliott, number nine. So um yeah. Another pretty cool scheme for Chase Elliott in my opinion. So um yeah, uh, off to the next diecast we're going to review. I have a way forward still. <laughs> Alrighty, the next diecast we are going to be reviewing is Chris Busher's number 17 Paola Cancino Spa Resort Ford, Cam uh, Ford Mustang. I knew to say Camaro again. I apologize for that. So here it is. Here's a sticker. All sponsored red. And um, yeah, let's open it now. Shall we? There we go. And take that out of there. And here it is. Chris Busher, number 17, Palma Casino Spa Resort, Ford Mustang. As you can see, here's the front. He ran this, I believe, in California at an auto club in 2023. As you can see, Palma Casino, Fifth Third Bank, Fastenal, and all the sponsors down there. If you can see that, I'm so, I apologize. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Uh, uh, you probably don't even care about that. <laughs> I don't. Palma Casino Spa Resort on both of them. And it, same thing says on the on the back. RFK Ford. And then here's the side. Pretty much the same. Honestly, this is a pretty mess scheme. I mean, it's just gray and then just a little bit of purple and pink action here but um yeah uh here's a sticker his sponsor name chris busher 17 um yeah would you guys say this is a pretty good scheme i don't know me it's pretty bland it's pretty decent but um i don't really like how the a's like or the p's like in the color in zone right there but it's whatever but um cool scheme for chris busher at least <laughs> but um yeah let's get into the next die cast we the final car of Way 4. Alrighty, the, the final die cast of Way 4 we are going to be reviewing is obviously Zane Smith, number 38, uh, Speedco Championship championship truck that he won off. Uh, it says right here, champion, right there. So, um, yeah, let's open it up now to show you guys the full review. It says Truck Series Champion, so. Just really from 2022. Wow. Here we go. So here is Zane Smith number 38 truck series car, speed code the championship car that he won at, at Phoenix in 2022. And speed code loves repair loop tires. And here's love speed code all that. Here's the side, all the sponsors right there, RF, RX Johnson, Horizon, and then first phase, Speedco, and then the Truck Series called Champion on the bumper. Four wins that season for Zane, here on his name, Zane, 38 cars. Zane said flips, oh my god. 
And here's a sticker, Spico Zane 38. So yeah, pretty cool truck. Look, I like this truck. I like the design of it. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. You know, but um, other than that, pretty cool scheme from Sega Smith and a championship truck. That's all, that's pretty cool, pretty awesome. So um, yeah, pretty cool scheme for Zane Smith here, the 38 truck. But um, other than that, let's get into the next die cast of Wave 5 now. Alrighty, the first die cast of Wave 5 we are going to be reviewing is Todd Gillen's number 38 generator skills Ford Mustang from 2023, I believe from the 500. So, um, yeah, uh, here's the sticker generates generated skills, Todd Gillen's name, autograph. the weird thing okay. okay whatever all right so here it is Todd oh sorry about that uh Todd Gillen's number 38 Ford Mustang holy crap look at this this looks beautiful in my opinion I won't lie G generate skills and here's the the, the door generate generator skills Speedy Cash, Boot Barn, all the sponsors down there. And right here, I believe it's, it's other sponsors, if you can see that. And here's the, the, the back side, or the the top side generates, yep, same thing. Same thing on the back, his sponsor name, Front Row Motorsports, you can see that little sticker down there. And Ford, and then here's the, the other side, pretty much the same thing. So, 38. Yeah, but uh, other than that, it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. You know. And here's a sticker, obviously. Sorry about that. Here's a sticker, generate generator skills, Todd Gillen. So, yeah, beautiful scheme, in my opinion, from Todd. So, um, yeah, Todd Gillen is now completed, and let's get into the next Wave, di wave 5 diecast. Next die cast we are going to be reviewing is Austin Cindric's number two Ford Mustang from the Daytona 500. Uh, I finally have the scheme. I got the Brad K one, but I got the next gen car and it's Austin Cindric. So let's go open it up then, shall we? Ooh, ooh, okay. That was a pretty good opening right there. Not gonna lie. All right. Here it is, Austin Cindrix number two discount tire Ford Mustang. It's basically like the same. Look at that. I like the front tires.com discount tire. And here's the side discount tire Auto Trainer, Freightliner, Menards. Take one more review, take one more look at the side. Austin Cindrix is a little sponsor right here. And here's the top side snap on. That's basically it. And here's the bumper discount tire. I don't know what that says. Let's get you taken care of. There we go. That's the bumper. And here's the other side. Basically the same thing. So, um, yeah. Um, see this all Leon Racing. There's the main company. It does the die cast. And here's the sticker. Austin awesome Cindrix number two. No discount tire, surprisingly. This is on the back. No, no, it's not. Oh, well, that's kind of shocking. But uh, yeah, here is Austin Cindrix number two. Discount tire. It looks so beautiful. I love this scheme. Come with Austin Cindrix and Brad K, of course. But um, yeah, um, we are done with Austin Cindrix. And let's go review the final wave of Wave 5. Or the final car of Wave 5. Let's go. Alright, the final wave of the final car of Wave 5. As you can see, it is Jimmy Johnson, seven-time champion. It's Jimmy Johnson. It's number 84, Daytona 500 scheme, Cavana, Chevrolet, Camaro. So, yep, let's go open it now before I become too cringe. I apologize for that. Apologize for my cringe. Oops. Let's over there. All right, there we go. 
Here is Jimmy Johnson, number 84. Chevrolet Camaro, Convana scheme. Look at this scheme. Oh my god, I'm in love with this scheme. The yellow on the top as well. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. This looks so good. It's a good ass scheme. Oh my god. I mean, good scheme. I apologize. The backside, Cavana, Camaro, and then Cavana, Carvana, everywhere. Man, this is a pretty good scheme. Oh my god. Look at that scheme, guys. Looks pretty, 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 pretty awesome. And here's JJ, Double J's, Carvana, 84 sticker here. And here's the scheme. This scheme is beautiful. Can't wait to use this scheme in a new die can series, which I'm about to do very soon. And, uh, oh, look at that 84. So, um, yeah, beautiful, just beautiful. All right, for all we're gonna be using the final die cast of the video, so let's get into it. Alrighty, the final die cast of this video we are gonna be doing is wave six yep michael mcdonald number 34 loves love ford mustang i knew it's actually related again if you want to see it again here it is final die cast of this video wave six all right let's open it up now sorry for the distraction final die cast of the video though so, hope you guys enjoying the video so far. Uh, if you guys want to recommend me some new twists in these diecast videos, make sure to leave down in the comments. I want to hear you guys' suggestions. Sorry for my for my bad language, but or sorry for my bad speaking. I would like to hear you guys' suggestions in the comments down below. So make sure what to see if you guys want me to do something new about the diecast videos. But leave it down in the comments. So. But here it is, the final diecast of this video. Michael McDonald's number 34 loves Ford Mustang. Here's the front. Loves Pico. Don't like how like this is like basically covering the sponsor, like ruining the sponsor, the little lines here. And here's the side. 34. Bunch of hearts. Loves. And here's Pico. Other sponsors right there. And here's the back, loves, loves to be cut. And here's the bumper, loves, front row run sports, Ford. And then here's the side, it's basically the same thing as the left side, it's every other scheme. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, let's see, 2023 Ford Mustang. And here's a sticker for the last time of this video Michael McDowell, 34. Four hearts, red, red, yellow, orange, and red, loves. With the little heart right there. And um, yeah, uh, here it is. Michael McDowell, number 34, Ford Mustang. I gotta stay, stop saying Chevrolet, but uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So here it is. Wait, episode three is now complete. We're starting with Kevin Harvick and going out to Kyle Busch, Josh Berry, Alex Bowman, Brandon Jones, Chase Elliott, Chris Buescher, Zane Smith, Todd Gillen, Austin Sindrick, Jimmy Johnson and Michael McDowell was the final diecast we reviewed. Um, so yeah, last up last week was this scheme, roll schemes, bunch of new drivers, and this this wave, bunch of the same drivers except Todd or Brandon Jones. But um, yeah, another diecast video completed, guys. Um, next next week we'll be reviewing wave. Wait, a bunch of wave six, or not really a bunch of wave six, wave six, wave seven. No, not really wave seven. I believe it's just a legend. But we're gonna start with wave eight and in a new era, the wave nine without the sticker. Sadly, I don't know why they removed it, but it's whatever. So um, yeah, look at this beautiful scheme, row of schemes. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna stop now, but um. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video here. Uh, if you guys want to leave some just suggestions on how I should make my videos a little bit better, make sure to leave it down in the comments. Um, next week will be another review of the diecast episode four this time. Hopefully, 
soon this week. I'm gonna try and get two videos out next week or maybe more, but I'm not too sure. But um, yeah. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. We're trying to reach 400 subscribers by the end of this year, hopefully, or hopefully maybe sooner than that. But um, yeah. Uh, make sure to like, enjoy the video, guys. Um, please keep supporting me. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me recently. All the likes. I've seen like nine views, but three likes. I really appreciate that guys it helps me so much i really appreciate it you guys thank you for the best fans out there but um yeah uh next week episode four hopefully it will be out hopefully soon this week early this week so um yeah um other than that i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment for extra suggestions and yeah see you guys in the next episode goodbye everyone have a nice day or night